think that when somebody brings some paper with some drawings on it and calls it money, that is all. Then they believe. One who is young, 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 he came to see our father and bring you a great story about the journey into every history and Africa as a whole. As an African child, as an African uh, children, what we're supposed to do these days not to go and read what they told us, that's how it is, but what we ourselves, we know that this is who we are. So all the time when we come to Osofo Kopicha Hadi, we try to explain to us how our ancestors migrate from where they live in the ancient time before coming to this land today. So today we are here with him to discuss about the Exodus. So if we say Exodus and they say people cross the Red Sea or people walk for 40 days, uh, 40 years, sorry, 40 years. So is that true that the people walk 40 years, cross the Red Sea, go to the promised land? All that we have to find out from Sopo Kofiche Ahadi. I will not wait much time. Let me go to Sopo Kofiche Ahadi. Then uh, we can ask him when we say the Resi or the Exodus, what is the meaning of the Exodus? Then Sopo Kofiche Ahadi can give us more explanation. Togbi? Ago. Midog Bendi? Nyepwe. Nyepometo? Nibo. Nyepwe. Nyepwe. Togbi Okada? Togbi Okada? Nyepwe. Nyepwe. Uh, <laughs> you have become very popular with uh, your programs. Mm. You are called uh, everywhere you go. Yeah. So you hardly have uh, free time yes. for poor people like we. Oh, Toby, don't say that. We don't you have are the money. great man in our time. So eh? as for that one there. Uh, so Toby, today we are here. Uh, our people are confused of some things, especially uh, when in the Bible they said the people walk 40 years to the promised land. And today to when you see the distance from the uh, two places where they have uh, migrated from to the place they, 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 they went to settle as the promised land. I don't think it will be that 40 years they are talking about. So when we say the Exodus, explain to us what is the Exodus. And it's true. Is that true that the people work for 40 years to the promised land? Now, when I have to say greetings to your cherished viewers, listeners, and whoever is interested to know the truth. Mm -hmm. Some people are called Christians yeah. and they have uh, fabricated some stories mm -hmm. which were brought down to us and uh, put into our heads mm -hmm. to believe mm -hmm. that there was some God sitting somewhere up in the skies and uh, that God has uh, some murderer called Moses. Mm -hmm. They made me realize that he was a murderer because he killed some people and ran away. Mm -hmm. And then God called this murderer to come and to take his people from bondage. So this murderer came and went to the Pharaoh, whose picture you can, one of the Pharaoh whose picture is on the wall there, yeah. and went to the Pharaoh. They didn't give the name of the pharaoh, but of late they are letting us believe that that, that pharaoh was uh, Pharaoh Ramses II. Okay. A pharaoh Ramses II was the one who, to whom Moses, the so-called Moses, went. Okay. Then that pharaoh will have to give us the date that the people left him mm -hmm. and how he sent his forces after them mm -hmm. 
and uh, chasing them through the bed of the Red Sea. The very peaceful and a lovely God caused the Red Sea to close on his people. Yeah. That would be a very wicked person acting that way. <laughs> but that aside, mm -hmm. the Pharaoh who sent his forces was staying in the delta of uh, the river they call the Nile. But the river, our ancestors who were living there mm -hmm. knew as the Divine Snake River. Okay. Because when you look at the river from above, mm -hmm. you see it flowing. Mm -hmm. It flows like a snake, it meanders like a snake. Okay. So, that was the Snake River. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are going to Akachi, you cross a river. And that river, we know as uh, Tojin, yes. the Red River. That river came past through my hometown as well. Okay. At Betway. Right. So, Tojin. Tojin yeah. That is Red River. Yeah. So, for anybody to say that the Red River, it got, it got its name because it flows from the hills and takes the residue, the clay or the sand residue from the mountains and brings it down and changes the color of the river. Okay. Just like we can see with the Prairie River, the Galamse areas, you okay. see that the color of the water bodies have all changed. Yes. And when you look at the Prairie River entering into the sea, you see that the color it's no longer the Same beautiful color, yeah. Yeah. color you have, mm -hmm. but it becomes like something red or yellow, yellowish red. Yeah. So they said that, that was the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. But then when you start looking at the origin of that water body they call the Red Sea, mm -hmm. you will see that from east top where Joseph, when he was sold into slavery, okay. was taken on camel. Mm. There was no connection between that water body and uh, what they call the Mediterranean Sea. Okay, so does that mean uh, where uh, the Joseph was sold? Yes. Plus where uh, they are saying the people work for 40 years, is the same area? The river body, the water body, mm. Joseph, when he was sold, According to your Bible, yeah. he was sold into slavery, into the caravan, the camel caravan men yes. who carried him. Yes. And they didn't cross any water body. No. They no entered body into Egypt. Yeah. They allegedly entered into Egypt. Okay. Now, when Abraham too was coming with Sarah into Egypt, Bible they, they, say they, they, they crossed any river. river. Yes. So, where from the river that these people who were traveling crossed. There is a, a pamphlet, or I have something which shows that the people who were living there were blacks. Okay, uh, the, uh, where the water is, or where the river is, or where the... the where the, the people were people, uh. moving from. Okay. To go to the so-called promised land, okay. they were blacks. Okay. If you land in uh, Cairo today, mm -hmm. the Cairo airport, mm -hmm. and you go to the place called Giza, okay. the Giza Plateau, mm -hmm. you will come across the Sphinx, the Dulegba. Okay. So the Dulegba that they call the, the, the Sphinx. The, oh, okay. Now you have an avenue of uh, Sphinxes in uh, Asia Appeal today. It is telling you one thing that the people who lived there had the culture of creating these dulag bars or sphinxes. Okay. And what does the sphinx do? The sphinx in our every land, they are protectors of the community. Yes. If they are protectors of the community, mm -hmm. if the people were living, they would have taken 
that important aspect of their culture yes. along with them. Yes. So where do we have that important aspect of the culture? Mm. The sphinxes or the alagbas, you will find it among the black people. Okay. And the sphinxes are telling us that, especially the one in Giza, okay. telling you that it represents a black man. Mm. If it represents a black man, it means that the people who built the sphinxes were blacks. Yes. They cannot be white or Arabs and give you the presentation of black. Yes. If that were so, mm -hmm. then the black people who built the sphinxes, mm -hmm. you ask yourself, where have they gone to? Mm -hmm. They could not have gone to live on a land which is Arab or Zionist or Islamic land. Yes. They will have carried their culture and their belief along with them. Yes. If they carried along, then we should have evidence of okay. where they have built their alert bars or the sphinxes. Okay. And where do we find those ones? In our home. In, in every land. Yes. So when you continue looking at that one and you try to understand the Sphinx at Giza mm -hmm. has a story, a question it asks. Okay. When you are passing by it, it asks you. Mm -hmm. If you are able to answer correctly, you can move on. Really? If you fail to answer correctly, that is your end. Wow. And the question it will ask you. It's simple. There is something which starts on four, mm -hmm. moving on four, mm -hmm. then uh, develops to two, okay. and ends up on three. Mm -hmm. Tell the Sphinx the answer. <laughs> so, so, how can I answer that question? That you should be capable of answering. Wow. You are the one passing by the Sphinx and he's asking you a question. Mm -hmm. What is it which starts movement on four, mm -hmm. graduates to two, and returns to three? So what is that? That is the person who is walking, who is being asked the question. <laughs> Can't you answer? I don't know the answer. So you know the answer. So tell us. It's a simple that? answer. Mm -hmm. When you are born as a child, mm -hmm. you start crawling on all fours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you grow, mm -hmm. you move on two legs. Mm -hmm. When you are old, mm -hmm. you end up adding one leg to your two. <laughs> That's the walking the stick. Walking stick. <laughs> if you are not able to answer wow. that question, mm -hmm. then you are in for a problem. Means you can't cross. You can't go. Wow. The Dulagba is there to ensure that people who have a very clean heart know mm -hmm. are the people who can be tolerated. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you look to your left, you see that there is a weighing scale. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. They are weighing the heart of uh, the person. Mm -hmm. And what is the heading? judging the heart of the righteous. Mm -hmm. So, on the right scale facing you, this one facing you here. This one? Yes, uh, the branch of the scale, mm -hmm. you see that there is the feather. The feather is here. Okay. Now, this one, one, this no, one. look at uh, where the animal this is, one. yes, okay. behind it. Yeah. No, in the scale. Behind here? No, you okay. see the scale is here. Oh, yeah, 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 this one. Yes, that is the feather. Oh, okay, then okay, the opposite yes. one is the heart of the person who is to be judged. Uh, this is the heart. heart. Oh, okay. And this is the feather of the bed. Oh. So they are weighing you. If you are a righteous person, you see that the scale is balanced. Okay. So, so, so the, feather, here. the feather is there. Before the, the heart, the heart is, here. is here. Okay. 
The person whose heart is being weighed is the one being led to the scale. This one? Yes. Okay. So when your heart is clean, you haven't done any evil. Mm. And then there are 42 laws. Okay. Thou must not fear. Mm -hmm. Thou must not steal what has been prepared for the gods. Mm -hmm. Thou must not take somebody's property. Yes. And they are all 42. Yes. yes. So when you pass, mm -hmm. if the heart weighs more than the, uh, the feather, mm -hmm. then you have failed. Then you didn't, go do, you didn't do any good during your life. No. But when, not, means if the heart is heavier, heavier than, than, than the, this, the feather, means you are not. You are, you are not correct. Wow. The, all the things that you are told not to do, if you do them, the heart will be heavy. It will be heavy. Mm -hmm. But if you have led a righteous life, your heart will weigh lighter, so lighter. than the feather. Mm -hmm. If it weighs lighter than the feather, then you have passed. Okay. Then they will lead you to the king of kings. Okay, this is the king of kings. King sitting there. So this one. Yes, now, now you have reached the yeah, point of getting the, to the, the king of kings. He has done right. Then they will accept him as a righteous person. Okay. They can send him back to come and teach other people how to do good. Ah, so don't you think this is the same thing they, they are portrayed to us as uh, heaven and hell, that they will judge us according to what we have done? But that is the judgment chamber. You see the judges sitting up there. The, the up one? Yes. So when you have been weighed and you see the guy is writing, he's holding, before you pass, the guy is standing there by okay, the scale. Yes. Yeah, he's writing. He yeah. will write oh, okay. what you have achieved. If you are okay, so you are given the right to move on. But if you are not okay, you see the animal there in the middle. Uh, the, the one just okay. there, yes. So okay. when you have been found not to be just, the animal will eat your heart. Yeah, yeah, means the heart you, will not work again. Yes, yeah, so, so you are a, an way. evil person. Okay. So go back, okay. go and complete your assignment. Okay. If your heart is clean, then you will continue to the king of kings. Okay, so so for, let, let, let me understand this. This whole thing, are we talking about this physical here that our ancestors do this or when you die before all this thing that will happen? That is the judgment scene. You are truthful, so you are asked to go back and teach people what is righteous. Okay, so th that, that's the reason why we have the reincarnation. The judgment scene. So the person the, is not right. He is not he right. Or she need to he come will back be sent back to continue to what, do what is do. right. Okay. If you are right, you are just and fine. They will, you will receive be, you. you they will receive you. But you will join the upper class of humanity. You will teach people to know that doing good is it's good. Is good. Okay. Doing bad is evil. Okay. So they gave you the forty-two. Confessions. Okay. So you have to say the confessions before you reach the King of Kings. Okay. If you have done good, mm -hmm. you go to the King of Kings. The King of Kings says, uh, "Okay, my son, you are welcome. Okay. Go and join the people who will judge." Okay. Then they tell you they will judge the quick and the dead. Mm. Those who have done good. You will come and continue doing your good. Okay. Those who have done evil, you will receive your punishment. Okay. That, that is that, the clear punishment in which way? You will come back. Either you will come as a, an animal or, or you will come freedom. or you come as a human being, but you will suffer, you will become a slave, you will become what have you. You will not be correct again. You might be a madman based on things you have done. Okay. 
So you see some people will be going around, you don't understand what has happened to them. Okay. You will think that, oh, you are better than them. But when you also do the same wrong things, you will also suffer the same. So can't we say then this, this one, the Christian, will have a point that, yes, it's true that there's a judgment day, they will judge us, the suffering people will go to hell, and, and, and the righteous will go to heaven. But when did the Christians have that uh, conception? Mm. The Christians and our ancestors, who came first? Mm, our ancestors. Are, yes, our ancestors were there, them. and they have set up the rules. And the rules are to be obeyed. Mm. They said, don't do this. It's finished. Yeah. So that's why the Christians say, as for the traditionalists, when you do evil, you are not forgiven. Because the traditionally says that thou must not kill, is punished. Yeah. If you do wrong, you will be punished. Yeah. And they say, oh, as for traditional religion, there is so much wickedness. Okay. There is no wickedness. When you have been told don't do it, it means don't do it. Yeah. Right? It, yeah. So, when they came, yeah. you will see that it was uh, the Greeks who introduced their people to come and study what our ancestors were doing. And they came, they didn't understand what our ancestors were doing. Okay. So they have to turn the whole story about. Mm. And they created their own story. Mm. And they realized that their story is not correct, mm. it's not going mm. according to the rules of life. So, yeah. If it's not going according to the rules of life, then they are in a terrible situation. That's why they had to forge and forge and forge and forge. They are forged and forged and realize that oh, their stories after all are not true. Okay, so so let, let's assume that when they came to escape everything, did they experience anything about crossing that race or uh, working for a distance of 40 years, did they experience anything like that before creating it for us? No. You see that when you want to confuse people, you must create some scenario or some stage where those people, you will deceive them mm. to forget about things that they have and follow what you have. Okay. So when the Greeks came, mm. they, are, they commissioned people to write things for them. Okay. If you read uh, some of their writings, they claim that those who were transcribing what had been written down, at that time they didn't even understand what was written down. No. So they must forge it. Yeah. They must create their own stories. And they created their stories. So today, every now and then, you see that a new story is coming, coming out inside. from the Bible. Yeah. Then the Pope uh, Francis, the current uh, Catholic Pope, mm. says that the Bible is not correct. Mm. When the Bible says that uh, in our Lord's Prayer, the Bible is telling you that uh, the Lord said, lead me not into temptation, mm -hmm. but deliver us from evil. Mm. That is the Lord who created you in his own image and likeness. Yeah. How can he lead you into temptation? Yeah. Having led you into temptation, then he comes to take you from evil. Mm. Then he sends his only son to come, come and back. die for you. How can that be? If he had led you into temptation mm. and he has created the evil, then he sends somebody to come and die for you. Mm -hmm. Then you ask yourself, does that person dying for me know me? So you have it up there, know the truth, mm. that nobody died for your sins. Mm. Because the person does not know you. Mm. You too, you don't know the person. Mm -hmm. You don't know what sin you have committed, that, that somebody who doesn't know you Must will come and die for yes. you. No, it's not true. Okay, so let our people understand, if somebody is watching that right now, from, from, from the, the, the Pharaoh, where the Pharaoh is, is treating the Egyptians uh, yeah, bad. Israelites. Yes, bad. And 
they send Moses to come and deliver them to the promised land. How long that distance is, and today we can tell our people that according to that distance, it, it is impossible for somebody to walk for 40 years, even if it is a punishment from, from ancestors or punishment from uh, God sitting somewhere. How it came about that they worked for 40 years. Mm. The fact is that that is not true. That event never happened. Mm. That's why I started by saying that when you look at the Sphinx of Giza, mm. the Dulagba of Giza, mm. it tells you the identity of the people. Mm. Now, apart from that one, you look at the location where the people were supposed to have started their journey from. Mm -hmm. They are starting their journey from what they are now calling Goshen. Mm -hmm. On the delta of the Nile River, Southern River, where the Southern River enters into the sea. Mm -hmm. If they are starting from there, mm -hmm. and they are going to Sinai, mm -hmm. and not today, from that time up till today, mm -hmm. Sinai is still part of Egypt. Mm. So if they were if living from the wickedness of the Pharaoh, going to the promised land, land that called Egypt today. No, the promised land, the claim is Canaan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then if they are crossing, first the Red Sea was not there. Okay. The Red Sea was, like I stated, was a river. Yeah. So that idea that there was a sea they crossed is not it true. Is not true, okay. If they started their journey mm -hmm. from Goshen on the Delta, mm -hmm. they would not have come to the what if assuming that uh, so-called Red Sea existed, mm -hmm. existed. Okay. They would not have come down south. Because the Red Sea is further down south mm -hmm. from the Delta. Okay. Now if you look at what they are drawing and presenting to us the Red Sea is far from the Delta. Mm -hmm. And the people were walking from the mm -hmm. south coming mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. And the land where they were walking between in the belly of the sea mm -hmm. is Arab land today, not a black land. Mm -hmm. And the people who have been presented in that picture as uh, migrating, mm -hmm. embarking on the Exodus, mm -hmm. were not blacks. Mm -hmm. Now, if they were not blacks, and the blacks were the owners of the land they call Egypt. Where did the blacks go? Mm. Before they, they are the people. They, the Arabs have right taken there. over the place. Mm. And then uh, Ptolemy brings the Jews to come and write what they don't even understand. Mm. If you don't understand something, okay. you will forge. Yes. When you forge, you will lie. When you are lying, you will be seen. Okay. And when the people who live there had their culture, which is what you can see in our lands, that the Dulagbas or the Sphinxes, are still there. they are there. Mm -hmm. So where are the people who were there? Mm -hmm. If Abraham and the wife mm -hmm. didn't cross the river in coming, didn't cross the sea, mm -hmm. and they came into Egypt, and they did all that they could. The Pharaoh was interested in the wife Sarah of Abraham. Mm -hmm. And when the Pharaoh realized that Sarah was the wife of Abraham, then he gave them all the things they have acquired and said, go. Mm -hmm. They didn't tell us that they crossed the river. Mm -hmm. So how come there was water? Maybe they will say because of that one, they already talked about the, 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 the Red Sea. That, of them crossing it, that's the reason why they couldn't say it. Uh, of, no, uh, where did you cross any Red Sea? Mm -hmm. The Red Sea must be there for us to see. Yeah. There are some uh, maps which those who did all those things have drawn themselves, showing that there was no sea there. Mm -hmm. If there was no sea there, and they said both uh, Abraham and his wife came. Mm -hmm. Now, you will see that the Arabs, Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. you will see that Mount Sinai, mm -hmm. still part of Egypt, yeah. climbing Mount Sinai, mm -hmm. 
you have to pass through Arab land. So where were the Arabs? Where were those who embarked upon the Exodus? Now, the only place where you will see the people who embarked upon the Exodus mm -hmm. is when you come into the heartland of Africa. Yes. That's where you will get the black people. Mm -hmm. And if the black people are in the heartland of Africa, mm -hmm. then that story that they crossed the Red Sea and went into Kenya cannot be true. Even if it can be true, let's say even if it can be true, that is supposed to be. Yes, then they should have come this not way them. and not go that way. Yes. yes. So not them. Not and them. Today they are the one who writing it to us that that's what happened to the yes. people. Because today everybody believe that everything yes. the Bible is the white people. Yes, the white people have written a story uh -huh. for you. So to everything that happened. It's them that the thing happened to them. Yes. So if the land, even the land is for the black, it shouldn't supposed to be the white, white people, people that will give us the story, them. but the black people, black people that's supposed tell to tell their give own us. story. Ah. If well, you are not telling your own story and somebody is you, going to tell you your story, mm. then you will be in a, a very bad situation. All right, that's Sofu Kofitia Hadid. Today we are discussing the Exodus. Uh, they say the people cross the Red Sea. Uh, for 40 years, they walked for 40 years to the promised land. But seeing the distance, uh, well, uh, the work that I have worked in my life, I, I don't think <laughs> it will even get that for, for that very 40 years. Uh, it's more than that. The work is more than that. But um, that's what they told us. So before I go to Sofu Kofi Tahadi, uh, for him to talk about the Black Bull Festival, the importance of celebrating the Black Bull Festival, for us to end today's story, let me go to a commercial break quickly. When I come back, I'll go to Sofu Kotika Hadi for him to continue for us. I'm coming right now. One who young couple be a sumuno, now Missumi Nananuma Mamre and Mehuno, Messumuno, says Ada Nudune, who for now to me call heaven a man could be a and your problem. But the only person who said it's a time for Africa, say, you need to be, you need to be that one. church is a business maker with no fear. Yeah, welcome back to JMTVGH. We are here with Sofo Kofiche Ahadi and discussing the Exodus. The Exodus. Uh, how much do you know about the Exodus? And is it true that the people work for 40 days? That's what 40 yeah, years. 40 years, sorry, 40 years. Is it true that the people work for 40 years to the promised land? Or uh, is it something that they have uh, misled us or they have told us that is not true? So we are here in Sofu Kofija Haji has given us uh, so much, so much explanation of it. So as we have come back, let me go to Sofu Kofija Haji. I know that we have a festival we normally celebrate called the Black Bull Festival, the Black Bull Festival. So I want to ask the importance of that Black Bull Festival and the reason why we need to celebrate it and reason why maybe if the celebration is coming, you need to support or you need to bring your request so that Sofoku Fitcher Hadi can explain this to us. Uh, uh, so before we went to the break, I was saying something that uh, as last year we celebrate the Black Bull Festival, and this year uh, we're supposed to celebrate the Black Bull Festival. So, if somebody hear about this, you will say, Ah, what is the Black Bull Festival? Because some people call me and ask, ah, What is the Black Bull Festival? And what is the importance of celebrating or supporting the Black Bull Festival? Can you tell us something more about the Black Bull Festival? Thank you very much. Uh... Simply said, the Black Bull, you have a community in ancient Egypt okay. or the Seda Valley okay. where that community is known as the Black Bull community. Okay. You see that quite recently when the so-called Queen Elizabeth died mm -hmm. and uh, the, the King Charles was to be installed on the throne, yes. they had what? They used a white ram yes. to lead the way. Yes. But us, mm -hmm. we are those who 
have the melanin in S, okay. which links it up as up to the radiations of the sun. Mm -hmm. The melanin enables us to withstand the ultraviolet rays of the sun mm -hmm. because we are black. Okay. And we respect whatever is black okay. protecting us. Mm -hmm. So the black bull, what our ancestors did mm -hmm. in the Seda Valley mm -hmm. or the Nile Valley mm -hmm. was that they offered the black bull to the creator of the universe. Okay to shield them away from the enemies. When you go into the Christian Bible, they tell you that a ram was killed and the blood was smeared on the doorposts of the houses. Yes. So that when death is coming, death will yes, not uh, yes. get to them. Yes. It will escape. Mm -hmm. They will escape from the hands of death. Yes. Now, the black bull was what was offered to the deities to protect their family okay. from being attacked by any negative force. Mm. And who is the negative force? The negative force was the invasion of the Hyksos, the Persians, the Greeks, the Romans, mm. all these foreigners who have taken over our land. So when our ancestors offered the black bull to the creator of the universe, the creator protected them and ensured that no negative force attacked them. Okay. And they moved freely away from the enemy. Okay. Those enemies who were determined to destroy us, and they are still bent on it today. And if we wanted to go back and recapture what has gotten missing from us, we will have to undo all the negative things that these people who took over our land have done. Okay. The Black Bull Festival, mm -hmm. the heading, as you will see, mm -hmm. we are appealing for support to procure Black Bulls, mm -hmm. to be offered to Togby Charlie, to reverse the dispersal and enslavement of his melanin dominant blacks okay. by all other races. Mm. You will see that the black race is the only race which is being brutalized by all others. Mm. The Chinese are taking us for a ride, the Indians are taking us for a ride, mm -hmm. the, the Europeans, everybody is taking the black man for a ride. Mm. What we, our ancestors did, have been negated by all of them. Yes. They have taken over everything. Mm. Our land which we develop, our farming practices have all been destroyed. Yes. So we say that when we offer the black bull to the ancestors, we will appeal to them mm -hmm. to ensure that we get our energies back okay. to repair them. Okay. Our enslavement, like is going now, you go to America, the blacks are being brutalized all over the place. Mm -hmm. You go to Latin America, you see the suffering of our black people. If we want to get our powers back, we must offer the black bull again. If we offer the black bull again, it will give us the power to counteract their activities. What happens that even our leaders, our so-called leaders, are in league. They support the white people or others to oppress us. Mm -hmm. But we are those who created. In fact, the first flying glider mm -hmm. was made by the blacks. Yes. But nobody recognizes the blacks mm -hmm. again. The blacks were those who made the, the seafaring vessels. Mm -hmm. But who recognizes us? Nobody. nobody. Mm -hmm. All over the place. The things that we can do, our so-called leaders have sold us out to the enemy. Mm -hmm. And it is time we use the black bull we gave our ancestors the powers to counteract them in the past. Mm. We will have to use the same black bull, invoke the, power. the powers okay. back, and let those powers ensure 
that we are free. Okay. So what we can say is anybody that can support the program is, is, is willing to receive that energy, that power to, to, to fight to get what is right for, for her or him. Yes. Okay. If you believe in the black bull, the black bull is the symbol of energy. And that symbol of energy, if you support us to offer the black bull, you get uh, your reward. We will, uh, at the appropriate moment, make pebbles available. That if you take one of the pebbles and you have the faith, the, your faith will make you whole. It's not the white man's or Christian faith. The faith in the ability of your ancestors to protect you. you we are not supposed to be strangers or slaves to any other person. Well, mm. here we are. Whatever is ours has been taken away from us. Mm. If we want them back, then we must get back to what our ancestors did before they left the Southern Valley. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's Sofo Kofita Haji. So, uh, talk me before we go, uh, read, read, read what is in the paper, give to my people so that they will know uh, what uh, we are holding in our hand. Okay. The headship of Charlie Dala Global Family Union have accepted the findings of his research consultants that our ancestors offering and smearing the blood of black bulls on their doppels enable them escape the murderous onslaught of Persians, Greeks, Romans, British, and French invading forces, enabling our ancestors to embark upon their exodus from the Southern Valley habitation of Kemet, Tamari, Tashi, which the Greeks renamed Egypt, whose indigenous knowledge systems were classified as Greek philosophy, not to consider Ptolemy Philadelphus commissioning of so-called Septuagint, who fabricated the transcription of the Hebrew Torah in the library of Alexandria, giving birth to the Greek Orthodox Bible. The Greek Orthodox Bible is what has been transformed into the Roman Catholic faith by Emperor Constantine of the Eastern Roman Empire. Now, Roman Catholicism was adopted as the religion of the Roman state and uh, it's been uh, the opening of the floodgates to transform our belief system into so-called satanic belief. But our belief system is the best, the Kemetian system. So if we want to get back to that one, we will have to get back to what our ancestors did. Our ancestors gave it the energy to develop things. The sheep, the seafaring, Anything that our ancestors did is based on their belief system. And if we do not believe in ourselves and we believe in all other people, we will not develop. We will develop if we return to ourselves. Nobody can enslave the black man. If the black man does not believe in himself, then he can be enslaved. So when we escaped from the wickedness of those who took over our land, we came down to create the new settlement we have. And we have a Dahoma. What is Dahoma? Dahoma is the house of the snake deity. So if we want to know ourselves, we must get back to our roots. If we get back to our roots, we will create the enabling environment for our self-rediscovery and our coming back to ourselves and freeing ourselves from further enslavement. 
That is the essence of the Black Bull Festival. We must know ourselves. If we know ourselves, we will develop. We are not going to engage in any magical display. We are going to call on the deities who brought our ancestors from where they were to where we are today. With that one, okay. we say thank you. Thank you to uh, Sofo Kofi Chahadi. Uh, but before then, uh, give us your final words and uh, if you set a date for the program and all that, that one thing you can tell us before. Uh, yes, my final word is that man, know thyself. Yeah. If you know yourself, you will get to know everything which is good. The Black Bull Festival is coming next year, February. But then, we will do a preliminary one, not a Black Bull, we will do a preliminary festival next week, Thursday. We will offer the deities small things which will make them aspire to help us to get over our difficulty. So when you contribute, we will do the Black Bull Festival. We will invite you to come. But uh, next Thursday, we will be in the presence of uh, the Baobab. The Baobab tree is 46 feet in diameter. And with that one, you can get all the energy you want. Then we have the pebbles, which will give you your heart's desire. Come. You are welcome. Hmm? Thank 22nd you. Uh, February, we will be at the Black Bull Festival proper. Thank you. Thank that's, you for thanking us. That's Safu Kofiche Ahadi. Uh, my followers, thank you for watching JMTVGH. Please and please try to subscribe to the channel JMTVGH. Follow us on Facebook. JMTVGH, Instagram JMTVGH, TikTok is JMTVGH. Everything that yes, you yeah. wanted to know, to know yourself and my bona, my know bona. This is why I'm coming from in African continent. Just follow JMTVGH. It will give you everything uh, one after the other. And you know yourself and you will be getting whatever thing that you are. As you can see something in my front, that is the papyrus we are talking about. You see how it's, it's very beautiful here. That is the papyrus. Uh -huh. So if you don't know what the people tend today call paper, this is the papyrus that they are telling you is paper today. So our ancestors start everything before the people came to learn it and turn it outside down for you. So you knowing yourself, you can know that this is what I can do better and do it better. And so uh, my DOP is Mauto and you can follow Mauto on all the social media platforms, YouTube, uh, TikTok, Facebook, everywhere. You can see Mauto there. Then you subscribe to uh, his channel as well. We are trying our best to bring you the history, the stories, everything that they hide away from you. It is our duty to give it to you for you to know yourself. So see you next time on JL TVGH. Bye-bye. Think that when somebody brings some paper with some drawings on it and calls it money, that is all. Then they believe. One who young couple be a sumo. Now, Miss Sumina, no mamre, and Mercuno. Miss Sumo says, I don't know who call now to me call heaven, no man could be a near problem. But the only person who said it's a time for Africa, say, Yenibe, Yenibe Daho, they have said church is a business maker with no fear.